Hey guys, it's Ben Silverman. Have you ever needed to scale your social media output? I'm watching all of these different influencers post on LinkedIn, post on Instagram, post on Facebook, post carousels, post literally everywhere, but they are doing it so fast and trying to keep up with all of that and trying to create these businesses and trying to find ways where you can get the output you need to keep up with all of the other things that you needed to do. So, so I took some time and I was trying to figure out, well, how are they doing it? And obviously, I'm very much into uh, ChatGPT, Claude, uh, Bard, all of these different large language models. And I discovered a way to create a prompt in order to do it all in one output. And I wanted to share that with you because ultimately for me, it really helped a lot. So I just wanna dive in and share with you the thing that I found and hopefully it is useful to you. All right, let's give it a try. So uh, I jump right in here to ChatGPT and this is the paid version and I have plugins. So first you have to go ahead and go into the plugin store and download the ones that you want to use. But since I've already done that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the ones that I'm going to need. So ultimately I do want to search the internet. That's what WebPilot is for. It's allowing you to browse web page, PDF, data, and chat and write with uh, one, many, or none URLs. Uh, webpilot.ai, it is uh, something that you can use. That's the main one that I'm using. If you look at some of these other ones, like Access PDF allows you to talk to PDFs. Bardeen does a lot of different types of automation. Vox Script, uh, I'll put that one on just in case. That one is a way where you can go and look at uh, transcripts from YouTube, etc. Uh, Zapier is a, it's another one that is uh, good for automation, but there's so many more. You can just look at the plugin store as well, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Maybe I'm going to do that in another. So we'll, we're, we're just going to go ahead and dive in. So the first thing that I wanted to do is basically tell uh, ChatGPT what it is that I'm looking for, uh, who I am and what I need it to do. So the first thing I will do is I'm going to give it that instruction. So the first thing I wanted to do is I said, I am the CEO of my company and I need you to act as my head of content. In this job, you are responsible for writing all the content I need for all of my social channels. I will describe it in great detail what I need my output to be for each channel in this conversation. Do you understand? Uh, it is going to go ahead and do that for me. All right. Uh, yes, I understand. As your virtual head of content, I'm here to assist you in creating content. Perfect. So first I'm going to do this. Uh, I need content tailored for multiple social media platforms based on either a tool or an article. I will give you an article or a tool and then you will ask me how you can help me today. Do you understand? Again, it's just go ahead and feeding it the information little by little. Um, perfect. And then I'm going to continue on in my conversation. It's going to do exactly what I asked. After that, uh, Boom, after you ask me that, I will give you a platform or multiple platforms. This is gonna be like LinkedIn, Instagram, anything like that. And it's going to give me that tailored content. It's telling me it understands. I like to make sure that I ask it uh, if it understands so we're on the same page. <laughs> it is still a human running this. So that's really, really important. Now I'm gonna jump in and tell it each specific thing I'm gonna need from it. And then once I finish with that, it's gonna then understand what the, the specific outputs I will need. So uh, the first thing I did was I went ahead and asked it to write me a YouTube script. So this is the prompt that I used. All right, if I ask you to write a YouTube script, I need you to revert to this output. Start off with a trending hook, introduce a common problem, present the tool name or the article, explain in detail how it's going to work, highlight the significant benefits using the tool or the article. I want you then to keep this duration to be about six minutes, gave it my target audience and my tone. So then it gives me exactly what I asked. It summarizes for it a trending hook, problem introduction, solution. You see right here, detailed explanation, significance, 
and everything that I need. So it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on to the next one, which is going to be my TikTok. I said, if, if I give you a TikTok script, you will follow the below output. Okay, I need a concise three minute script focusing on the problem, which is the article or the tool. We're gonna to start with a hook, basically everything I included for the YouTube, except it's going to change it to TikTok. It's now summarizing everything that I needed it to do. This is how simple that it goes. So now I'm going to tell it about my, my LinkedIn. This is how easy it actually is. And then now for the LinkedIn, it sets up a common problem, it addresses it, highlights five key features or insights, gives a place for a link and an action item, and then it includes a footer. Sometimes I like to include a footer to my, my newsletter, which, which, we, which we put out twice a week. After that, it summarizes everything that I need it to do. I use it for a LinkedIn article. Those two are very different. So this is if I need a LinkedIn article. This is for my Twitter. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to put the very detailed, specific things that you're going to want per what your output's going to be. And again, I have changes, little things here and there that I like to do, um, but that's completely up to you. And that's the most amazing thing about all of this is you can literally get every single thing that you ask for. This is going to be for my Twitter with one chat. It's very simple. Um, so I've got a tweet thread and then for an Instagram carousel post, I'm just very specific with what I asked for. And I'm going to put that right in here. Perfect. So now it's telling me what each slide in my Instagram carousel is going to be like. And once I'm finished with that, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to make sure that it understood every single thing that I asked it to do. So I'm going to say, can you please uh, summarize everything that I asked you to be able to do for me? All right. And now it's going ahead and summarizing everything that I will ask it to do for me in the future. Okay, boom, this is my YouTube script. Uh, this is my TikTok script. Excellent. This is my LinkedIn post. This is my LinkedIn article which is not just a post. And this is my Twitter thread and my Instagram five slide carousel. Perfect. Now we're gonna test it. Okay, the, I have an article here that I picked out. Uh, please use the link to this article article. I want you to give me a linked in post, a linked in article, a Twitter thread, an Instagram caros carousel, and a YouTube script. Please, I like being polite. Now it's using WebPilot to look at the article. Like I said, you have to use a plugin for it to actually search the internet. And while it's doing that, uh, then it will go ahead and give me literally everything I asked it to do. And then I can go right back to this chat in the future and I can just use this over and over and over again. And here we go, my LinkedIn post. It even gives you emojis. It's pretty fa fantastic. 
So let's see what it does. Uh, the rise of AI and automated technologies is not just about technological advancements. It's about how these innovations make you feel about yourself. Um, talks about the problem, solution, understanding the psychological responses to an AI, key insight, just as adding an egg to a cake mix made bakers feel more involved. It even gives a little bit more personality. It's given me a LinkedIn article for, for a newsletter. And again, I use these as jumping off points. I don't necessarily just take this and post it, but this is how fast I can be up and running. So I don't really need to start at zero. This is my Twitter thread. How does interacting with AI affect? Okay, boom, perfect. Instagram carousel, it's giving me my five slides. And that's so easy. It's unbelievable. The amount of time this would take me without ChatGPT would not allow me to post the way that I can post now. This is my YouTube script. Uh, it's claiming the problem introduction solution. See, and that's the thing, I wasn't too um, happy with my YouTube script. So I'm gonna say for the YouTube script, I need it to to be much more detailed. Do it as if I am speaking and not just by headings. I want it to sound a bit more personal. This is a 10 minute script now. Adjust my prompt to match this for all future asks. Let's see how that does. It's doing exactly what I said. Okay, hey everyone, have you ever stopped to think about how the rise of AI isn't just about the tech itself, but how it's reshaping our very identity? Stick around because today we're diving deep into this fascinating topic. All right, you know, as we interact more and more with AI in our daily lives, it's just changing the way we work or play. See, I, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna try and use this <laughs> for the next video. We'll see what happens. But this is quite fascinating because right here, it is um, even giving me personal anecdotes, giving me beats. Um, telling me very specifically what part of the article it's talking about. I mean, look at this. It's fantastic. It's getting much more specific. It gives me a call to action. I love it. So with a simple prompt that I now have, this is going to allow me to just take an article, take some news, and really just dive in deep from a ground level immediately. It's unheard of. Please, I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. Like uh, the video. Subscribe to our page. We have a lot of insights, a ton of news. We're going to keep coming at you. And um, this is exciting. I'm going to do a lot more of these. Stay tuned.